Okay, I want to use this comment section from Wendy V's video. And I'm sure she'll be okay with it. Where it says, one, one when and Wendy, please listen to this. I'm, I was under here reading these comments, right? And I wanted to express them. Because Wendy seemed to, you know, really get at me because I put up a video about Lanky Tor constantly spamming. And I, I told her, I said, you stop, it's weird. Period. You know, and then, and then he put up this video, Love Bomb and Lanky, that's cool, they can do that. I wasn't bashing her, but Lanky's not as sweet as everybody thinks she is, and that's cool too. I just got tired of spamming in my chat, so I told her to cut it out. And so I don't like to read one comment after another comment after another comment after so there's some videos under there where none of the comments are nothing but lanky saying things over. And maybe she needs to stop doing that. That's all. But they all start love bombing her and all that. But I want to talk about one wins reluctance at taking down videos that were made of Midwestern Mary after her death, after being asked, after the community tried to pressure her. Her comment was, well, when her husband gets her password and takes the ones down of me, I'll take them down. Apparently, they have taken them down. They, she said she took them down, but apparently there's still two videos of her going at Midwestern Mary up. Uh, it's real important for Wendy to be right. She wants to be right. She wants to have that last word, even if you're fucking dead. She wants to have that last word. The only reason that though any of them took the video down is because of pressure from the community. Okay, I got a little pressure from the community about that video that I put up about Lanky Tor, and I took it down. No problem. They nobody. At, well, Republican Ash did call me and say, hey, "Can you take that down?" So I took it down. But there were people, you know, there's people that like Lanky. That's fine. I don't have nothing against Lanky, but there's been times where she's been in chats where they were bashing me, and she was talking shit about me, and I came in there and she started love bombing me. Period. Uh, Wendy asked me to prove that. I'm still looking. I never recorded anything from. Uh, Lanky, but she's done it several times. That, but she's not a problem. Lanky's not a problem in this community. It's just the spamming the chat. But as far as Midwestern Mary goes, uh, there's some really good comments under this video where a gentleman is is speaking and asking them to take down their videos. So I wanted to read some of those comments. Uh, Stellar was trying to give them a little bit of props for doing that, which that's what he does. Uh, somebody was, you know, saying no, that's not the blah blah blah. Yeah, and Stellar was just being himself. Yeah, he, if you're a good person, it takes no effort for people to see good in you. Sadly, for these women, they are backed into a corner, and felt pressure to delete the videos. That's absolutely true. They would still be up if people didn't pressure them. At first, they refused because their hearts clearly carry, still carry resentment. But the immense care they hold for themselves and how others see them online is really the only reason them videos were deleted. That's absolutely correct. They didn't come from their heart. They didn't say, you know what, that's sad. I think I want to take these down. They didn't do that until somebody, people told them to. Respectfully keep your kudos for those who do the right thing for the right reason. They don't deserve your praise. Well, I would agree with that, Stella. They don't deserve any praise. Now, still, it was very well spoken. Right. John Levy put up a really good comment. And he and I don't always agree. We fight sometimes. But he put up a really good comment here. A woman lost her life. A husband lost his wife and child. And a child lost their mother. How one way can't show compassion in a moment like that only shows the darkness she holds within her. Nobody needs to expose one way. She does it all by herself. And I've said that exact same thing without saying a word. These people who preach love and forgiveness are always hiding in hate. I'm personally realizing this more and more. The manipulation she portrayed on behavings, crying for herself, and the hate she's getting only further proves what selfish, ego-driven monster she is. 
I'm considering hate bonding with John Levy over Wendy. <laughs> and we don't agree. We've cussed each other out several times. But he, I agree with him on this. Somewhere, a little girl is crying for her mom. In another part of the world, a mother is disrespecting a precious child's memories and grief. Gee, O's sons must be so, so proud. O has proved her point. She is cold-hearted and without compassion or a conscience. Now we all know. Her Bible is just a prop to her and nothing more. I will remind you guys that when they were trying to tell Randy and Wendy were trying to tell Rep Ash that she didn't know uh, any, anything about God, Wendy said, you need to read your fucking Bible. I bet your son would be proud of that. Such an easy request, and her unwilling to do so speaks volumes. This is the ultimate going real life in the most horrific way. 26 likes on that. Yeah, they're fucking real lifers. If you think for one minute that Randy and Wendy and Diane have not looked up people, or had people look up people, then you're fucking wrong. Period. The people that I've noticed around here in the last several years, and even with some of my friends, people who are constantly preaching don't dox, don't dox, you shouldn't dox, are probably the ones that are doing it the most. Personally, for me, if somebody's coming at me and coming at me and coming at me and coming at me, if you can get your ass on YouTube and speak your opinion, you shouldn't be able to do that in a fake name or under the guise of an anonymity. If it's your opinion, put your fucking name on it or someone else will. Yeah, if her family is searching for videos about her on YouTube while grieving, then they will find us her channel with all the nasty things she said about other people in it. Or if they happen to come across this video. I had a comment for that. These are some great comments on here. That's right. I want to look and see if these two videos are still up after I get down here. Uh, Midwestern Meltdown and Midwestern Murder. That's right. They'll see every, They'll see a lot. Midwestern Mary, uh, there was times that she was nasty. She was nasty to me a couple times, and then we were cool. They might see Midwestern Mary being that. I'm pretty sure that her family knows that she's like that. A lot of people, uh, my family knows that I'm confrontational on here. You know, so there's probably not no... Big deal. Yeah, they upheld it. That they're, they're righteous. She says she will take them down when her grieving husband figures out her password and takes down the videos Mary made about her. She has the maturity of a stubborn teenager. Welcome to the schoolyard is her motto. Doesn't that fit? Some of these ladies need to stop using social media just to bully people. Wispy, wispy. At Chain, who I absolutely adore, Corey. I, I there's never been really been a whole lot that Corey said that I didn't agree with. That's why I like her. And I like the way she speaks, and I like her sarcasm. And I just, you know, I can just tell she's a doll baby, but I just love the way she speaks. But anyways. Newer watchers don't have a clue, especially about the horrific shit Wendy said about Rebecca while Rebecca was on their panel. The videos are still on Diane's channel. It will make everyone cry, then get completely enraged. Someone should pull out some member berries and remind that cow how much damage she's caused with, with two so many women. 
I make fun of Rebecca to her face. I call her name. She doesn't care. It doesn't bother her. Sincerely, Wendy. How do you know it doesn't bother her? The videos are enough to make a person vomit. The godly woman she is, right? She thinks she's a mortar and the mama hen of D.C. She belongs in an institution where she can soak up compliments from new roommates. Let her believe she's someone everyone envies. Only no, Wendy. The only type of people that envy you are people that are just fucking like you. Scammers and shit stirrers. And bullies and shit talkers. That's all you fucking people are. She belongs in an institution where she can soak up compliments from new roommates. Uh, recently, she demanded proof of her saying Katie sleeps with her own father. And she did say that. Everybody saw it. She told me I was lying. She never, ever said that. That proved to everyone there's a severe illness happening. Full on denied it. We all heard it. I heard it. I don't know where it is now, but I heard it. And has no clue who Katie's real people and how it affected her and the people closer. Most disgusting thing I've ever heard. And it went on for quite some time. Her and Diane raked in thousands of dollars making up bullshit. I remember the four-hour live doxing Mary right down to her cable provider. If you put up someone's cable provider... Isn't it doxing? Well said. I even agree with serendipity. Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in godliness, and I've forgiven a lot of people. Even if I talk shit about people on here, I still forgive them for what they said or did. Forgiveness is the most one of the most godly things because that's what that's what the crucifixion was based on, you know. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Forgiveness is the epitome of Christianity and love. I, I'm I'm very able to forgive people. I don't hold grudges. For long. I don't have any grudges on anybody here. None. Not even, not rel. Not full on drama. Not anybody. I forgive people. That was in me before I even thought about a church. I'm able to forgive people. But I can, I will still talk shit about them if I, even if I've forgiven them. That's right. And you know, Beth Ross, where you said Dr. Phil should be able to help one win. I really would like to take some clips of what one win saying to people. And we considered this a, uh, a couple years ago of sending in to Dr. Phil. Uh, but he, did, you know, he, he has to have, he has to have a couple different sides of the story. He won't just bring someone on there to bash on Wendy unless Wendy will show or something like that. I bet Dr. F but Dr. Phil put her off the stage too. Because, you know, she, Trisha did fake fall down. Right? And I agree. She faked fell down. And it was dramatic. And Wendy looks at her, her husband and goes, aren't you going to help your wife? And that's when Dr. Phil said, get off my, you know, get off my stage. It's part of the problem. So you got booted. You got booted on national TV in like one of the biggest shows ever. You got booted off one of the biggest panels in the world, Wendy, because you're a bitch. Unless you want a second opinion. Maybe we need to go see Dr. Ruth Westheimer about your fascination with men of the cloth. It's that little white thing around on there neck, that little collar turns you on, isn't it? I wonder if Boris knows she was asked and they and the answer to give was she'll take him down with her family. I don't know, Nanny. I have never seen someone as evil as one when it's sickening. See the smart people see right through those bitches. 
It's it's the dumb idiots that that their life is fucking YouTube. I like Lindy Live too. I I'll go and watch her channel and stuff, but I don't I don't fuck with her too much. Lindy Live is one not to fuck with, and I've always maintained a pretty good uh, repertoire with her. And like, there's been times that I go look at Lindy Live's channel. And I don't comment on it, but I just go look to see what the real is. If you want the real, go to see Lindy Live. Yep. She's good at that deleting shit. And she's good at pretending that that fake one win account that she claims is fake, she claims it's a troll account made up of her. She's good at pretending that that's not her. Liberty. Well said, Boris. It's over one when do what you need to do for yourself because you will most likely end up alone. She is alone. She's alone. When she wants some friendship or, or, or and when she gets lonely, she signs on to YouTube. I wasn't lucky enough to know Mary. Oh, she was beautiful. She was witty. And she was to be mean. Man, it's crazy. Her ego is as huge as her ass. These are some of the best comments I've seen about a situation on YouTube for a long time. She ain't going to listen. Anyways, the kids are getting up and getting ready. Yeah, she said, those videos that I'm making defend me against her. Defense testimony. Defense testimony. One when all your come talk to me, come ask me questions. No, there's no, you don't come talk to Wendy. She'll tell you, you come talk to me, we'll talk about it. No, she'll block you. Remember when she first started her channel back up, uh, when Diane got busted scamming, Wendy first started her channel back up, she was saying she was going to use her channel, she didn't want nothing to do with Diane. And I was saying, watch, it won't be a day or so, Diane's right back up there. And it wasn't long. She had her channel up for one day, and I was... Now, me and Wendy don't like each other. There was a time, though, when Wendy said, I like Brian, and she would stick up for us. And there was a time when I thought Wendy was really a good person. There was a time when we did get along. But, uh... Now we don't get along. So, she, uh... It's always about the defense, but she had that channel... For one day, and we didn't get along, and I didn't get along with Diane, and I was, you know, but Wendy let me in there. And I asked, I said, can we please clarify that Case Balls is actually not Satan? And she responded to me. And she talked to me, and she goes, okay, for the record, you know, she's not Satan. And we laughed a little bit. And I was in the chat saying hello to people, and it was, it was great. No problem. Because she, she said everybody was allowed in there. Everybody's allowed in here, you just don't dox. And, and, and. You know, you don't come at people crazy. No racism and stuff like that, which I wasn't doing. So, the first day, I was out in there. I go back in the second day. And Diane is in there with her. All right? And I come in. I'm saying hello to people. People are saying hello to me. And Diane goes, Wendy, check your messages. All right? And then she, then she comes back. And she goes, Brian, you just can't be here. Uh, you make me uncomfortable, blah, blah, blah. And she booted me. I wasn't doing anything. And everybody knows I'm telling the truth here. 
So when Diane said, I'm going to message you, she said, hey, get Brian out of this. That was right when she was still saying that Diane was a liar. But this post right here is great. I'm going to leave it. I, w I want you to slow down and read the Free Will's love uh, post here. Oh, uh, Stellar, this is epic. <clears throat> I wish I could read this like Stellar. <clears throat> there comes a time in life that defines a person's entire life. Wendy, this is the moment, that moment, where possibly everything you have said about your faith in God balances on this solitary decision. Recently, you chose a friend rather than to stand with the children at St. Jude Hospital. This now is a moment where you again show the community if you are governed by hate and ego or love and compassion for Mary's five-year-old child. Please remove those videos to protect your child and family from ever seeing them again. To Mary's five-year-old child, she said, no, not till they take them down for me. Those are my offense against her. Bam, Selena. Oh, Dragon's Law. I like Dragon's Law. I've always said the reason Wendy is so threatened by Stellar is because he truly is a man of God, while Wendy is a fraud. He really gets under her skin by doing nothing but being a good man. He is everything she could never be, and she hates him for it. This lady's behavior of hers is just another example of how cowardly and pathetic she is. Man, these comments. Putting Wendy in her fucking place. Oh. Now. Yeah, all these, you know, just do it. <laughs> I remember the lady's voice. Wow. Let's go and see if I want to see if Yep. She says she took them down. She said she took them all down. Midwestern meltdown is still there. And, and I can't comment on it. No, it can't be any worse than how she was feeling this morning. Still there. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have. I also, oh no, there was one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. Did you guys see C. Marie's video that she posted uh, yesterday? Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. I meant to send it to myself and I didn't. Oh, do you guys see? Look which at, is which? <laughs> I thought that was Carla. I thought Chucky Tell me was you Carla. Guys see the poll. Does anyone see it? You've lost. Yeah, right. Do you guys see it? Oh, you see it. Good. Okay. Well, please vote. Thank you. Do your civic duty and vote. And who wore it better? Corey? Threatened my family because oh, that's God. what she does now. She just threatens all of our families, Fucking wishes shit. us all dead, and wishes us all. That's cancer. not a threat, you dumbass. When she wishes something on you, that's not a threat. Why don't you save that word "threat" and "attack" and "abuse" and "come at"? Quit maximizing shit, Wendy. She's a child murderer. That's what she is. So she hates her life, and she wants us to have the same kind of sad. You call someone that lost a baby a child murderer, you fucking fat piece of shit. 
You are you are a fat fucking big ass piece of shit. Pathetic lonely life that she has. Well, you and she's pissed that that's not happening. <laughs> she's mad. That's not happening. As much as she puts that into the. Corey would slap the fucking piss out of you, Wendy, and take your purse. She really would. She would take your purse. Well, it's Michael Kors, of course. She'll probably take your refrigerator and some of that money you got from the Super Chats, too, from you. The universe, sadly, the universe does not seem to agree with her. <laughs> She's pissed. I've been sick for fucking ever. By the way, I'm fully vaxxed. <laughs> Shit. Uh, but he is. And uh, i help you figure out who made it. I, I don't know. That's cute. Like primary school. I get it. Where's two? Oh, no, three. When you feel happy, Sam. I said to her, I think my exact words were, I have questions about this thing. A, is it really magic? Because because she's not gonna no matter what you say <laughs> that evil ass laugh is all right bad. i can't wait to see the video i can't wait to see it okay i've had enough of her voice let's see midwestern murder one one let's see if that's up she's telling people she took them down they're still up Yep, it's still up. These two are still up. Why can't you let her rest? The spectacular Siamese sisters. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny, Wendy. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm convinced this psycho wants me dead. How? Let me go back here. I don't worry. The no, spectacular Siamese sisters. Ah! Call her a freak. Yeah, I turned them comments off too, bitch. You sit and lie to people and tell them you took videos down that you didn't take down, Wendy. You ought to be a fucking shame to yourself. <laughs> 